Does your handheld tile sound like this? Can you notice that rasping and hesitation to run cleanly? Chances are you'll need to replace the carbon brushes. Today we'll show you how to do this. To replace the carbon brushes, all you'll need is a new pair of brushes, a flat head screwdriver, and the Phillips head screwdriver. Got all your tools? Cool, let's get ready for work. In this demonstration we'll be using Frankenstein, our daily used Hitachi CM4 SB2 tile saw. Please note that this guide will apply for any handheld tile saw that you own, regardless of brand. The first step is to remove the plastic end cap on the other side of your tile saw. Flip it onto its head and remove the two Phillips head screwdriver screws with your screwdriver and remove the plastic cap. Some tile saws, like this old Makita here, do not have an end cap and have access to the brushes directly on the body. If this is your case, you can skip this step. With the two screws removed and safely stowed away, you can now remove the end cap. Simply pull it up towards you and it should come off. If you notice a lot of dry tile dust built up, you can easily remove it with a dry paintbrush. This is to ensure that the tile saw runs cleanly and none of the dust gets into the internal components. Now that that's all cleaned up, let's locate the brushes. The brush caps are located on either end of the tile saw. Look for the round flat cap with the flat head screwdriver slot. Lay your tile saw flat on your work surface and start unscrewing one of the end caps with your flat head screwdriver. Once you've unscrewed one side, turn the tile saw over and get to work on the other side. Make sure to store the end caps safely so you don't lose them. Using a flathead screwdriver again, you can pop out the golden tab and pull the brush out of the tile saw. As you can see, this carbon brush is very well used and definitely needs replacing. Compare it to a new carbon brush and you can start to see where you're having problems with your tile saw. Carbon is the lifeblood of your motor and once it runs out, your motor simply won't work. Now it's time to fit the new brushes. Starting from either end, grab a new brush and slide it back into the slot. Then, gently compress the spring with your finger and hold it down with your flat head screwdriver. Now, grab an end cap and gently remove the screwdriver while you place the end cap over the hole. You should be able to tighten it with your fingers and then complete the process with a screwdriver. Sliding the end cap back on is by far the hardest step in this process, so don't worry if it takes a few tries. Please note, when you're tightening the end cap back on with your screwdriver, don't tighten the end cap too tightly. With one side completed, you can now turn the tile saw over and repeat the process. With that all done, you can now refit the end cap and screw in the two screws. All that's left is to plug it in and let it rip. Now that's a difference. Do you remember how I used to sound like? And with that, we're all done. Now your tile saw should be as powerful and reliable as the day it came out of the factory. I hope this tutorial has helped fix your problem. And if you want more help, we have a full written guide on our website at tiredisplace.com. The link is in the description along with links to where you can find new carbon brushes for your tile saws. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below. And if you have any other tile saw tutorials you would like to see, please let us know as well.